And so this afternoon I'm going to do a review and I'm going to put together a Harbor Freight toolbox. This is item 95659. It's a rolling four drawer toolbox. It was on sale this week for $99, which seemed like a heck of a, heck of a deal. So um, it weighs about 100 pounds, so it's a little bulky to maneuver. And I've got some number 22 thread lock, and I've got this and a, a screw gun. So let's. See what we're working with. I'll wait for those keys. Includes four keys. They're all the same. Mm. Well, at least they give you keys. pretty well packed. I was kind of hoping that uh, the main piece would be assembled and all I'd have to do is unpack it and put it together. And that looks like what I'm, what I'm working with. So I'm going to finish destroying the box here and get this out and uh, see what we're working with. Okay, so I've gone ahead and gotten rid of the styrofoam. Um, it didn't have very much styrofoam, but it was actually pretty well packed. Um, there is a lower tray that was underneath of it with some bubble wrap in it. And then there, it, it comes locked, so um, I'm going to unlock it, and hopefully that'll be the last time I see those keys again. And then it's got some foam lining in here, the ever-present instructions that are wrapped in um, plastic for their protection and yours, and more parts. I'm reminded of a Bugs Bunny cartoon, Kill the Rabbit, except here it's Kill the Forest. So, um, oh, look, even more. So I've gone ahead and unpacked everything, and um, there are two crossbars, four support bars, two locking casters, two casters that don't lock, um, an assortment of hardware, and um, I just love it. To avoid danger of suffocation, keep this plastic bag away from babies and children. If your child suffocates on a bag that fits in the palm of your hand, wow, that's pretty sad. So, and of course, it warns you to save the manual because you may not be able to remember how to operate this toolbox without the manual. So, save this manual. Um, it also encourages you to record the serial number of your toolbox. And if your toolbox does not have a serial number, you should be sure to write down the month and date that you bought it so that in case you forget in the next 89 days, you'll have warranty coverage. Because like all Harbor Freight tools, this only has 90 days of warranty coverage unless you were suckered into buying the extended warranty. I mean, why would you want an extended warranty on the toolbox anyway? What in the hell's gonna happen to it? Your tools get stuck in it? Like they care? It's Harbor Freight. They have cheap stuff at a good deal. Um, Anyway, so um, among the more interesting things is it wants you to start with the bottom shelf and put the casters on, and then it wants you to um, install the legs and the cross, cross supports, and then you are somehow supposed to hold 
Yeah, this just doesn't make any sense. You're supposed to... Oh, I see. It sits down on the cross members. Okay, because I, I was sitting here looking at this going, how the hell are you going to get this to sit the way they're asking you to make it sit? I'm still not convinced this is going to work the way it's shown. But here goes. We'll see how this goes. So um, I'm going to rearrange stuff so that I have a little bit of space to work, and I'm going to go put this crap in the recycle bin. And... Uh, we're going to have fun putting this together. All right, so um, it starts with uh, putting these 13 millimeter bolts on. Um, I'm not 100% sure how they expect you to do this. I don't know. Let's just have to... I guess we'll have to just do this. This is uh, a little bit challenging because... You just have to kind of maneuver everything simultaneously. Now they did upgrade on this and install uh, or provide um, lock nuts, which is really quite surprising for her. Right? Okay, so this works best if you let it hang off an edge. Um, it's not that bad, but it is. this is definitely something that would go easier with two people. Um, and you need a ratchet and you need a 13 millimeter box wrench. And basically with one hand you work the ratchet and with the other hand you work the box wrench. And lock this. And I'm going to keep working on it here at the pipe. It does appear to have come with, uh, well, I don't know what those are. I put those are for the handle. So um, one of the things I did change, it calls for both locks to be at the end where the handle is. And I decided that um, I'm more likely to want to lock it from where the drawers are. So I put them on the front. Um, you can follow the instructions, or you could do what I did, or you could do it some other way. Whatever makes you happy. The next step is you need to assemble each side. Um, they are marked up, but the easiest way to tell the top from the bottom is that this, from the one set of holes to here, the bottom is uh, longer than the top. And it, if all else fails, you could see that it matches uh, the toolbox. So I'm going to go ahead and assemble this, and they. This does get a little easier. You only should need a ratchet at this point. And um, the hardware is paired or put together, so that that makes it nicer. And these are carriage bolts, so they um, you know, it just doesn't require quite as much um, talent with both hands at the same time. Or a helper. So uh, at this point, you get the, the fun game of putting all this together while balancing it. Um, oh, let's see. Oh, it does go through inside. Oh, this is this is going to be kind of stupid. So the brackets go on the outside. This is something that really uh, would go better with a second person, and I do have a person helping me with the camera, but I'm going to try and do this solo just because um, I, I know a lot of people work solo on these kinds of projects. And I just want to see if we can prove that it can be done, despite the best efforts of Harbor Freight and their quest to shave pennies off the cost of each product. Yeah, there are some corner corner clearance issues coming up here. This is this is 
challenging for your fingers. So I recommend that you proceed with an open mind and plenty of patience. Okay, so uh, I've got the cart assembled and I've got uh, the legs assembled. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift the toolbox onto the cart and we'll see how nicely this goes. Um, it's a really strange way to put it together. I would have done this in reverse. I would have attached it, um, although it doesn't look like there's an easy way to attach it to the, to the toolbox. I probably would have attached it to the toolbox first, then added the, the braces and then put the cart on last because then I would have just had to flip it over and, and use it. But we don't do it that way. And I am going to take advantage of locking it so that the drawers don't flop all over the place when I go to move it. Because they're going to be a pain in the ass. There you go. Looks like it just dropped into place. Quite literally. Now there are little tabs on the sides, but um, overall it literally just dropped into place. It's not as bad as I was expecting it to be, but it's uh, still a questionable design. So. I'm going to unlock my wheels and uh, see about putting the rest of this together and you can't see inside here so I don't see any point in filming this but if you do want to get these all the way in these tabs so you may have to do what you just saw me do and I think it is makes more sense to do these So they, they provide some structural strength, so they need to latch into these corners um, before you start putting bolts in, because once the bolts go in, you're not going to be able to move this stuff. All right, so as you get to the last bolts, you need to think about where you want the handle. It, um, it comes with two additional bolts, which are a little bit longer for the handle, and they go it goes in the lower um, spot on one end. So it can go on either end. All right, so uh, some of these are, you will need an extension with a swivel on it because some of these are a little bit hard to get to. Um, all right, so a couple of these you need to use your box wrench to get to and you just wanna make sure that the carriage bolt is seated firmly in there. So I'm working on the last two. And oh, there you have it. So this is a $99 Harbor Freight uh, toolbox, um, real similar to uh, a Snap-on or a Husky. Looks like a solid toolbox for $99. Um, paint's a little thin, assembly is a little bit of a pain, but overall I think it's a good bargain and uh, I'm happy with the purchase. This is going to wind up being my toolbox for my screen printing and embroidery shop. Um, I need something I can move around easily to the equipment that needs to be worked on and this fits the bill perfectly. And it came with casters. Um, you know, the toolbox is rated for 600 pounds. I don't think the casters are rated for 600 pounds, but I guess time will tell. Um, overall, not a bad deal. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed my video.